Well, hello there, folks, and welcome back to The Whiskey Friend with me, Alan. New week, new video, another brand new video. In today's brand new video, we're heading to another independent bottler. Another bottle I see, another indie bottle I hear you saying, why do we keep doing indies? Let me tell you why, guys. This is in the form of the Old Malt Cask series, and it's distilled at the Talisker Distillery, and it's 11 years old. It's 50%. It's natural colour and it's non-chill filtered. So the beauty, guys, of the independent bottlers for me is, let's just take Talisker, for instance. So you've, there's lots of Taliskers out there. They all tend to be bottled at 45.8%. They all tend to be coloured and they all tend to be chill filtered. That seems to be the thing of Diageo. So if you're a Talisker fan, and you want to express Talisker, or you want to have an experience of Talisker at a higher ABV, you want it in natural colour, and you want it in non-chill filtered, then you need to go to an independent to get that. There's very, very few Taliskers. So that may be with most of your favourite distilleries. They may be bottled at smaller strength, 43%, 40%. If you pick up one of those at an indie bottle, you want it as a higher stroof or maybe even as a cast strength, it's going to be an independent bottle. So the independent bottles for me, guys, are bringing lots to the table, lots to the party, and you tend to find a lot of their whiskies are done the way we like it, naturally presented, age-stated, higher ABVs, often cast strength. So, yes, tip my hat to Hunter Lang. Hunter Lang's up there in Glasgow. You probably they're, they're responsible for the Scarabus collection. You've probably seen the old and rare platinum series. You've probably seen the first edition series. There's lots and lots of whiskey. They are responsible for the Ardnahoe distillery. So I'm looking forward to seeing what's going to come from Ardnahoe. So guys, if you want to check out Hunter Lang in particular, I will drop a link into the description. It's hunterlang.com. And I'm sure they'll be able to explain more about what's going on at Hunter Lang better than I can. It's a 11-year-old Talisker. It's from the, the, the island region. Bottled at 50%. Natural colour, non-chill filter. 11-year age statement. So all these good stuns are going on. It's one of 696 bottles. And it's charged from a sherry bot. Uh, for all you geeks out there, the reference number is HL20288. And the single cask was distilled in August 2011, and it was bottled in May 2023. So, yes, just a little disclaimer on this bottle, guys. I'm going to tell you a little story. I visited the Glasgow Whiskey Festival back in November last year, ventured over to the Hunter Lang table. Mr. Paul Main was there, started dishing out some samples and we got to this Talisker and he says, you have to try this Talisker. Thinking Paul's words, it's his best experience ever with Talisker. So that perked my ears up. So I tried it, loved it, spent the rest of the day telling everybody at the festival all about it. I came back two or three occasions, tried it again, research of course, or maybe I was just being a wee bit greedy, I'm not too sure. So, yes, it turned out on the, the day, it was the whiskey of the day for me at the Glasgow Whiskey Festival. And I think a few of the colleagues I was with, it was the same in respect with them. Uh, inquired about the price. The price was £160, guys, which I'm going to come back to in a minute. I know it's a lot of money for an 11-year-old Talisker. So, on the day, I kind of buckled a little bit and I thought, oh, let me think about that. So, I bumped into Paul at the Southport Whiskey Festival earlier this year. And and I was hoping that he had that Talisker living again with him, but he didn't. He had some other wonderful whiskies with him. But I inquired at the time, could he get me a bottle of this old malt cask Talisker? And he contacted me a, a week or so later and he says, yes, I've managed to get you a bottle. I says, great, where do you send the money? And to his credit, to his generosity, he says it's on me. It's on the house. Under no illusions, not to get a favourable review. I could review it. I could not review it. I could do what I wanted with it. I could drink it. I could share it. Paul just gifted me the bottle, gifted it to the channel, which I'm very, very thankful for. Uh, and I'm very humbled by his generosity. So this is a gratis bottle, guys. So it was gifted to the channel from the kind folk at Hunter Lang. 
And but it's not gonna influence my review of this bottle because I'll tell you why, guys. The whiskey is just too good. So, guys, if you're ever visiting a whiskey festival and Hunter Lang will probably be at most of them. So do me a favour, go along, have a word with Paul, tell him that Alan sent you. So, yes, so on the case of this one, I'm going to nose it, taste it, score it, and get myself gone. Just a quick one, I was nosing it the other night. I was sitting watching some TV. The wife was watching, let me rephrase it, the wife was watching some shit TV. So I decided to do a bit of research with this, so I was nosing it. And then out of the blue, the magical words came out of her mouth. Are you going to drink that, or are you just going to nose it all night, you weirdo? So that was the beautiful words of my beautiful wife, Marie. So as you can tell, I was enjoying the nose. So that's exactly what I'm going to do now, guys. Let's nose it. So, okay, this one, guys, it's it's a mix. It's a mix of sweet and floral and fragrant. But at the same time, there's that beautiful balance of ashiness, sootiness, smoke, salted caramel. There's some berry fruit, dried berry fruit, some dried fruit, lots of toffee notes, caramel, salty caramel, lovely chocolate thing going on with this. But at the same time, it's it's salty caramel, it's sweet, it's spicy. So there's a wonderful spicy black pepper thing going on cinnamon, clove, so there's definitely some warm and bacon spices going on here. That sea spray, that coastal elements there. So there's a whole host of things going on, but at the same time it's just really, really engaging. And it's you actually forget where you are. You forget that you have to drink this as well because you just keep nosing and nosing and nosing. But for the benefits of this video, I'm just going to dive in and I'm going to Give it a taste. From time to time, guys, we like to drink. You know that's not a big dram. It's just a tiny little whiskey friend capita glass. Let's dive in. Let's nose it, taste it, score it. Let's just send this down the hatch, guys, nice and responsibly, of course. Oh my goodness, spicy. Colour-wise, guys, it's that beautiful, rich, light gold, light amber, light copper. Definitely a beautiful natural thing going on. Lovely legs on it, lovely coat line on it. Real, real nice. But the palette, initially it's rich, lovely, oily, syrupy, fudgy, buttery mouthfeel. Really nice. A little bit dry on arrival. A little bit woody. A little bit that maybe that kind of woody, smoky, sooty things going on. Definitely smoky. It's a wee bit more smoky on the palate than it is on the nose. It's a wee bit more sweety and smoky thing on the lovely balance of sweet and smoke on the on the nose. But in the palate, the, the smoky side seems to be pushing its way through. It's silky. It's buttery. It's syrupy. It's fudgy. But then the smoke comes through, a big whiff of smoke, barbecued smoke, distant bonfire smoke, a little bit of wood smoke. There's a lot of burning embers maybe going on, the dying embers of a fire. But as you get through it, the past the smoke, the chocolate's there. The chocolate's like a lovely, lovely chocolate mousse. Let me just do a second sip, guys, just a bit of research, of course. Salty, that typical Talisker characteristic is that salty thing, that salty coastal, the higher ABV. This is a wonderful Talisker, guys. Absolutely wonderful. Peppery, spicy, chocolate mousse, salted caramel going on. There's a little bit, there's not as much, there's more fruit on the, the nose, the sweet, floral, fruity things on the nose. It's much more subdued. The fruit's a wee bit more restrained. It's heading towards the finish. There's a wee bit of 
berry fruit comes through, a wee bit of red fruit, fruit comes through. Just a little fruity thing comes through heading into the finish. But the, the palette is all about the, the spice, the intensity, the mouthfeel. It's a quality Talisker. That smoky thing, it's definitely smokier on the palette. Heading to the finish, it's, it's long, it's warming, it's lingering, it's spicy, a bit of all spice going on in the finish. Smoky things there, the smoke carries all the way through it. The smoke is probably the main thing through the palette. It's a wee bit sweeter and fruitier on the nose, a little hint of smoke on the, on, the, on the nose, but then the palette, the really smoke comes through, the spice comes through. The, just the whole overall experience is just wonderful. Toffee, treat, the, the toffee's actually begun a wee bit trickle towards the, the, the finish, and there's a beautiful, beautiful chocolate thing there as well. So all in all, guys, this is a wonderful, wonderful talisker. So let's get to the nitty-gritty, the score and the price. The price in £160, there I'll give or take a few quid. This was a gifted bottle to me, so here, here's my kind of take on this. Where, where I'm going to be 100% honest with you is, would I buy it? I offered to buy this originally. So would I buy it again? That That's the question really that I've got for you today. So would I buy this? Would I pay the £160? And the answer is yes, I would, because I'm thoroughly enjoying this whiskey, and I'll tell you why. This is a 91 out of 100 for me, and I'm pretty sure by the time I get to the bottom of it, because as I go through it, and I'm going through it very, very quickly. Paul's right, it's a wonderful, wonderful Talisker tal tal experience. Is it the best? It's the best. It's better than any core range Talisker. This is why I think independent bottlers have a real, real job to do in giving us these whiskies at higher ABVs, better presentation, and it's wonderful. And I think some of the distilleries should take note of the indie bottles because everything's presented beautifully. So 91 out of 101 for this one, guys. I'll pop all the links. I'll pop links to Hunter Lang. I'll pop links to this bottle. I'll pop all the links in the description, guys. Patreon, all of that, guys. So other than that, I'm Alan. I'm the Whiskey Friend. And as always, don't forget to send some great whiskey straight down the hatch. And always remember the pleasures and the sharing. Until next time, guys. Any festivals you are at, dive along and tell Paul that Alan sent you. Cheers, guys. Thank you very much. See, until next time. Cheers.